So we just walked into the local trash dump to see what was going on as we have been monitoring over the years. Said in Ganesh has many municipalities around Sri Lanka, about 40 altogether, that have big trash dumping sites like this where anything goes. And here we see a whole herd of elephants. Actually, these are two bulls right up here. And as we walked in, we were really, really stoked because we thought, hey, they finally got the fencing up as it's actually a law in Sri Lanka to have the electric fencing around the dump so that the elephants are not feeding on this crap. And yet here they are. <laughs> the fence is actually on the wrong side of the trash. <laughs> and we're not sure why they didn't put the fence on the other side. Maybe it's not their land. I'm not sure, but it's definitely still a problem. And for them to mow all this down would be quite a few years to come. So about one fifth of the elephants depend on this for food. When we walked up, we saw two elephants playing in the water, and we had assumed it was like a runoff from you know toxic landfill drippage. But as we got closer, we noticed that a, a septic tank came in and dropped off human waste, and the elephants that came out of the water were actually swimming in human sewage, in fresh human sewage. Yeah, it, it also it it also happened in several sites. A lot of E. coli injection can be get into that uh, animal. And not only the uh, garbage itself, so the behavior pattern also changed due to this garbage. Yeah, definitely. We were nervous to be yeah. in the presence of those bulls because we felt like, you know, someone that something that's feeding on human waste and all this trash can't be right in the head. I mean, they'd be full of parasites and uh, harmful bacteria yeah. and pathogens. Yeah. When we walked up, there was two bulls swimming in the water. Not so good feeling. It's just a little tiny fence between us, but you never know. If they charge, we had an out plan. I'm hoping they don't come up to us now, but we definitely need to bring this up as an issue because these fences need to be on the outside, and we need to take care of our trash. If we don't take care of it in our home, you know, our green waste, our composting, then it's going to end up in landfills like this, totally toxic waste for the environment. We actually recently just visited um, a town in Dambula and we went to the trash heap there and we found about 13 or so elephants just feeding on these huge trash middens and I mean really it was a horrible sight to see just to think that these animals are getting nourishment from the you know crap that's left in our bags and plastics and have you seen any of the health impl implications? Yeah, not only in the Dambula but all over the country, so there are huge dustbins. So these dustbins are in open areas. So and also it is near to the jungle. Mm -hmm. So elephants are freely access to these uh, uh, dump waste dumps. So not only in the Dambulla, but all over the country. So there are huge dustbins. So these dustbins are in open areas. So and also it is near to the jungle mm -hmm. so elephants are freely access to these uh, uh, dump waste dump once they get a taste of that quick energy that quick sugar or whatever they find in these in the trash it's easier food for them yeah. to get from eating heaps of grass yeah. so do do you finding plastic in their intestinal tract yeah so the problem is so they are very uh, they like to eat so this uh, very easily digestible and very tasty food. So they not only eat the food particles within the garbage, so they uh, people put the garbage wrapped with the polythene and the plastic. So the elephants do not uh, separate the food items from the polythene and plastic and plastic. They just so, eat the whole thing. Yeah, they, plastic they yeah. all the whole pack, pack, pack. Yeah. So the plastic and polythene go with this pack. So not only the food items there, so there are several other uh, harm, harmful items like needles and glass, piece of glasses and plastics and some kind of bottles and everything is within the pack. So elephant did, uh, they just sell all the, this bag. 
so they will damage the mucosa of the intestine and the stomach mm. so they will this small damages may be developed into the wounds at the same time so eating of these uh, concentrated foods so the gut uh, gut develop the acidic nature so this acidic nature is not suitable for the favorable microflora of the gut because elephants are herbivorous animals so they need the micro microbes to digest the cellular so this is the place you can see a um, large amount of elephant herds frequently so this side is having the water tank so this side is having the butanga sanctuary so elephant herd is frequently coming to the water source through this way so if you go through this area you can see so many dung spots so if you uh, select some 100 points of dung spots more than 50 percent you can see this type of polythenes and plastics which is very harmful to uh, animals with the metal with the glass yeah, and everything metal, in yeah. them and so i'm sure it's cutting up the lining of their yeah. in, in organs and intestinal tract yeah that, that's the problem so, so. The, the body's trying to respond you know to the plastic and the um the plastics that are coming into the body so the gastric acid produces more gastric acid and eats away all the good microbial gut yeah. flora this altered situation so uh, the animal move to find the more tasted food because now they don't have enough microflora to digest the cellulose so they find uh, easy digestible material so they are waiting a uh, uh, long time between the dustbin area they don't have much exercise and they don't have much uh, cellulose mm -hmm. and yeah they, are, they don't leave yeah, they just stay yeah, there they, That's what we they are waiting for the tasted food and uh, they don't get enough food they get little food yeah. and so uh, eventually they <coughs> lack their nutrition nutrition state so at the same time uh, the small ulcers may be developed into the bigger wounds mm -hmm. and this may be uh, infected with the uh, other microbes because uh, the, uh, the cellulose digestible microbes are not there so it will be overridden by the pathogenic microbes so it will Harmful enter into microbes. the bloodstream and maybe develop septicemic condition. Yeah totally that's what I thought of you know if we were to eat a bunch of glass and metal yeah. we would just open up our intestinal tract and our sphincters and just totally put, you know, undigested food waste yeah. into our blood. Yeah. And imagine your blood response, yeah. that's like total sepsis and, yeah. you know, we can die from that like that. Yeah. So, I mean, if the elephant dung goes into the bloodstream, that's also very harmful yeah. for the elephants. Yeah. So, the trash dump elephants are definitely shortening their life, yeah. you know, whether it's long term, you know, with slowly eating, sleeting, slowly eating away everything and, you know, probably by decades. Sure. So sometimes there's acute situations where it happens instantly that yeah. the elephant would die from this. Yeah, yeah. We had found that a uh, few animals died within the garbage uh, uh, sites. And the recently found one, so we could uh, uh, do the post-mortem. So once we cut the, uh, cut open the gut, the, the stomach, and the whole gut, in a, even in the small intestine and large intestine, filled with uh, undigestible materials like plant polythene, and plastic, and it's metal thing, air wires, like uh, uh, milk packets, like that. All are uh, replaced the uh, normal digestible food. So, so they have malnutrition, they can't get any nutrients. Yeah, so he automatically uh, develops malnutrition. Mm. That's awful. Yeah, and one thing we noticed at the Dambula dump was that there was a lot of um, excess market waste. Yeah. So yeah, it yeah. was like fresh vegetables, yeah. but in plastic huge bags. Yeah. And you can understand why the elephants do want to feed there because, you know, half of it's total waste that's not going to go anywhere, it, undigestible waste. And then there's the plant material that is digestible, but it's not going together well. It seems yeah. like a compost situation needs to be separated and recycling. And, oh, yeah. um, and I was wondering if people are concerned, you know, do you notice that 
the villagers or farmers are concerned about the elephant dropping, taking, you know, if they, say if they leave the trash dump and then they're walking through the village or crop raiding yeah. into the agriculture, they're bringing all these parasites in their dung yeah. into new places. Yeah. So, I mean, I know it's, it's supposed to be illegal, correct? Yeah. To let yeah. elephants into trash yeah. areas in Sri Lanka? Yeah. Um, yeah, but um, the problem is so when the elephant is used to eat this type of garbage, so they normally they they are eating pattern will be changed, and they will try to find some uh, tasty foods. So they they want they won't go to the forest side, but they won't go to the village side. So when the village they went to the village, so they will eat something and they will destroy more things. So then the elephant human can be mm -hmm. So the farmers are very poor people are there, so they cultivate their crops. So the once elephants come into the village, so they will destroy all things. So the, the villagers don't like elephants. That's why the villagers yeah, don't like elephants. And at the same time, it's the villagers that are putting the trash there that are making these Frankenstein yeah. elephants yeah. and that are not, not healthy elephants. Yeah. So yeah, it's a really difficult, sad situation. And I hope, yeah. you know, we noticed that there was a new electric fence put up around it. Yeah. And some of the mitigation plans that we heard from locals was, you know, make a compost and then we can give the compost to the elephants and we can keep the trash and sort it. And then I was thinking, wait, Elephants don't eat human food, and they eat grasses and shrubs and bark, and so their their gut flora would already be changed by yeah. eating a pumpkin every day. They would yeah. be high yeah. yeast yeah. and candida, yeah. so it would change the whole ecological functioning yeah. of a evolution of the elephant. And I I think that could be more harmful in the end. Yeah. They need to stick to their their regular forage and their food yeah. to keep healthy. Yeah, yeah it, it's it's. It's directly affected to them, those individual elephants, those who are used to eat the garbage, yeah. but it indirectly affects their herds and their, gen their other generation because they are followed these animals. So they follow these animals, they come to the garbage uh, center, or they, if there is no garbage, they follow and they go to the villages and they yeah. try to eat the other paddies and... Uh, and they even uh, break into people's homes yeah, to get the yeah, rice damaged and properties, damaged yeah. properties. Yeah, so definitely causes more human conflict by not yeah. preserving habitat for them yeah. in a safe space and, blo and blocking off our trash yeah. so that way it's not accessible to elephants. Yeah.